Thailand's two main opposition parties, Move Forward Party and Pertai, have agreed to form a coalition after they won big in the weekend election. But is this enough to secure a majority to form Thailand's next government? Dr. Virod Ali of Thammasat University weighs in. The election was a surprise anyhow. Uh, one thing that we believed that there would be a landslide for the Democratic Alliance, it did. But we, uh, if we looked at most of the polls that were done before that, we believed that the Thai party would uh, come as a largest party. But this time they uh, came second. And, and uh, the, the interesting part was that the Move Forward party has secured up to 150 seats, while the Thai party has secured around 142. So for the Democratic alliances, only with these two parties, at the moment we have 292 votes. And uh, there are some smaller other parties on the Democratic alliances which would join the coalition. Uh, so currently the number is at 309. In order for the Democratic alliance to secure a safe majority in the House of Representatives, Virat said it would require collaborating with other parties. In this case, the party that came in third with about 70 seats, Poom Chai Thai Party. So for the 309 uh, votes that we have, if you include Pum Jai Thai Party, which is the third party, which have secured around 70 seats, or at the moment it's at around 71, then if Pum Jai Thai Party moves in with the Democratic coalition, then they might have over say, 375 or 376 votes. There's a possibility. But the issue is that before the election, uh, Move Forward Party or even Kum Jai Thai Party has made some conditions uh, publicly, i.e. such as uh, Future Forward Party has stated that they're, they're not going to offer the, the ministry that uh, Pum Jai Thai might need or wants to secure for itself, i.e. such as Ministry of Transportation and the Ministry of Health. At the same time, Pum Jai Thai Party has stated that they're not going to join with the Move Forward Party because Move Forward Party uh, has a policy to amend the Article 112. So, so for the Democratic Alliance, in order to win, you have won the majority in the lower house or the parliament, but still you need to compete with the 250 senators, which are supporting that, you know, they're backing the uh, military back uh, political party.